Right, the first the first trip was um, I can't remember what day it was we left sea, but it was quite poor. It was a bit of a it was a bit of a crap forecast, but we went anyway. So we had two days of or two days steaming like head to wind, probably six to eight. It wasn't very comfortable and a bit sort of always feeling a bit crap on the first day. But after that, it was after the first 24 hours we was alright, and then the weather did find a way a little bit, and everything was yeah not too bad. So got there first day, put a few lines out, I made the lures and all that, and everything looked looked alright. We tried a few lines, didn't have good fishing the first day really. Caught some fish, which was good because it made sure that you know we was we we could catch them and it was alright. I had trouble with to start with showing the crew how to work the reels and bits and pieces because you have to do it. You've got to do it. It's not something you just check over the side and away you go and that's it. You've got to like get it all right. Um, you know the lures have got to look like the actual live bait. You know there's more to it than just like I say chucking the lure over the side. So second day made good contact with like the bass fishermen, the Presidente, and made contact and everything was cool with that. Got them and then second day, yeah second day in that then we started having a bit of good fishing then, it was brilliant then, then it was like sort of like we were stuck catching, we'd have bunches of fish then, like you know, like a ten, mm. all in one it with all the lines, then we had a full ice then when it was just like uh, t- uh, tuna on every single look and it was just, it was just, it's just, bar- it's a brilliant job, it didn't, it's not a job, it's like, how can you describe it? Well, it's not a job for me. It's it's just like a adventure. It's an adventure, you know. You're down on Spain fishing. You're looking like you've got the sun out. You know, it's not brilliant all the time. It's a bitch's days as well. But it's like, <laughs> you know, it's 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 an adventure. It's what it should be about, you know. That's why the Spanish have been doing it for as long as like three centuries. They've looked after it. You're not going to wipe the fishery out. It's just it's a brilliant way of fishing. It isn't long hours because it's more mental and getting the lines right. As it's hard work, but not ball busting work. It's like a combination. It's like proper. It's proper fishing. Do you know what I mean it's, you don't? You don't get bored. There no, no, there's no boredom in it. You know, it's total. It's total like lows and total total highs. It's like that. That's what makes you tired. Is, is the total like when nothing's happening and you're making sure everything's all right. To all of a sudden it's like like an L's let loose and you've got them going fish on every line and you, so you're going from like first gear to like. 20th gear, and then it's the rock and roll. Then you know, going to get again uh, tomorrow. Right. I haven't had a day off yet, but I've got half a day off today to try and get some bits and pieces all together so we're all ready for tomorrow. Because, like, this trip was a short trip really yeah. to be in for Fish Festival and to do you know the, the public relations yeah. bit and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So, then tomorrow, then will be the full full Monday tomorrow and like rock and roll you know yeah. there's no reason why it shouldn't work and it should be a good fishery Excellent. for all of us for for a long time to come yeah. if we do it if we do it right yeah. but for my side I've done it as right as I possibly yeah. know how to do it and right. see what happens see what happens uh, thank you very much is that right? yeah, yeah that was you it's a wrapper it's a wrapper <laughs> action